All right, so now that we have the resolution hack done, we're going to go ahead and do the menu hack. So what you're going to, going to want to do is go on your E4 and then hit the center button and go under settings. Then you're going to go to device settings and camera information. And then when the model shows up, just hold the right button down for 10 seconds. And then once the USB mode comes up, just click USB mode. And then go down to RNDIS. And click that. Okay, now that we are in RNDIS mode, we're going to open up FileZilla, which if you do not have it, you'll need it for this. Okay, so now that we have FileZilla open here, we're going to want to go into here. Then you're going to want to unzip this again. So go to 7-zip and extract the menu beta 3. Okay, so now you're going to want to open up FileZilla. And the host is 192.168.0.2. The username is FLIR, F-L-I-R. Then the password is 3-V-L-I-G. And then you're going to hit Quick Connect. So now that you're connected, you're going to want to go under flash BFS under system this is the flash BFS right here so um, what you can do is you just take the system no just the one oops take the system and put it into flash BFS then you can click this then you won't get all the other warnings and hit overwrite And there you go, now you have the menu hack. All you have to do is turn off your FLIR, take out the battery, you might want to unplug the USB cable too, then plug it back in, and then this will happen once you unplug it. And now it should say FLIR Special Edition. Now if you want a custom boot logo too, such as your company, your contact information, um, you can get something like paint.net and make a 320 by 240 BMP or bitmap um, logo and you can go under here um, you'd have your file somewhere on your computer then go under the E4 and it is under system so somewhere in here Oh yeah, under here. So you're just going to go under system, and then it'll be in this down here. It'll be boot logo underscore legal. It is the boot logo. So it's this one. Um, yeah. Yeah, see boot logo legal. I'm not sure what this one yeah whatever but yeah this is the one you replace and just make sure you still name it boot logo underscore legal make sure it's a bitmap file otherwise it probably won't work and uh, after that you should be good and uh, everything should be working you should have your e8 plus now